Now back to the action with Jason. Come and sit down here. I shall. Big Nick. Uh, before, <laughs> before I introduce you, because yes. I don't know if you're going to be here, I'm going to do some giveaways. Okay. We still have some tickets to Bygone Era if you want uh, to get them. Chat room there or there. There were the Vaudevillian singers who sang the double entendre songs. Um, also, we have a... Uh, I, no, I did give away the Tim the Tip McMillan ones are gone, haven't they? They're gone. Okay, excellent. You can't, you can't win them. Nicholas Tweedy's gone as well. Curse. Sweet. Yeah. Wow. Someone must be watching. I know. I'm uh, highly surprised. <laughs> Someone. Who would have thunk it? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Uh, well, that this bodes well for you. It does indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick Coppen. Yay! Huzzah. Oh, oh, is that the camera there? Oh, there's two. Oh, there's Look at that. Oh, oh two. Look yeah. at this. is sophistication. No expense spared. This is great. I'm now, loving this already. Yeah. The thing that said your name just said just said Shaggers, but you're doing three shows. Well, yeah, yeah. And technically, often on the same night. Yeah, 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 off on the same night. See, well, the... You're the, an idiot. I am an idiot, yeah. Well, then that's never been in dispute. I've always been an idiot. <laughs> always, been, always. But yeah, the Shaggers thing, which mm. I, I compare and produce. Mm -hmm. uh, it sounds so pretentious, doesn't it? But well, you're produce. not producing this here. Kath's producing it for you. Who? Don't lie to us. Well, well, Kath is, Kath is as well. We've got Kath Styles and Alex Petty at Laughing Horse. Oh, you so know. you're the third, you're one of three. All right, yeah, it's, just, it's getting a bit, it's getting a bit social network Facebooking yeah. thing, isn't it? Are you actually involved like, yeah. in the show? I don't think so. I think, <laughs> I think I've, been, I've, I've been ousted. I don't, I don't think I, I even think know. I think actually yeah. hosting well, it. I'm hosting it, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, well, I'll just go home then. I'll just Please. go home and get me a flight back. If you back. could, that'd be great. No, yeah. don't. You're an awesome talent. We, we love do, having you. We do my solo show as well. Then it might have some jokes in it. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. I don't need to be involved in anything. I'll just leave. Okay. So so tell us the three different shows that you're doing. Okay. Well, well, the first, the first one up tomorrow mm -hmm. is ah uh, oh, the best of the fringe from the UK, which is like how many A's else? in that? I think there's four at least, at least A's four. in it. I think there's four. Mm -hmm. It could be five. And is there an exclamation mark like an R? Yeah, R. Okay. Yeah, exclamation mark. Like someone who's mm -hmm. yeah, ah. yeah, like, ah. mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. And that's uh, like a, a showcase show of the. It UK. is uh, yeah a showcase show uh, with uh, a few different comics on, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah so that's uh, eight thirty at the Austral uh, tomorrow and um, Friday and Saturday. Uh, is that right or Saturday and Sunday? What's that? I can't even see that. I've got my glasses on. That's all right. That's a question for Lindsay. I'm gonna ask him in a second. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Every interview yeah. turns into one for Lindsay, so okay. just be aware of that. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Okay. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. I it's don't good. Know what happened? He's, but I like he's, it. Doing, he's doing my solo show now, so I might sell a few more yeah, tickets. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, you know, uh, what do you what do you like about some Australia? Some extra stars, hey. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I'm just gonna take them back and put them on my poster. And go. Cheers, mate. Thanks. That's on my poster for Melbourne and uh, Edinburgh. So yeah. Cheers, Brilliant. Linz. That's alright. So so you're doing that? You're also doing award-winning British comedian Nick Coven. I am indeed. Which yeah. is just your gags. Is that yeah, right? Again. <laughs> Very good. No, yeah, yeah, well there's a bit of a theme to it in as much as um I don't know, do you know do you know yeah, of course you know Jen Burks, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She used to be a judge, didn't she? Uh, mm. and um and she came to my show the first year I did it in Adelaide, two years ago, and it was an early evening show. That's my excuse for only yeah. having three people in. Uh, and <laughs> midweek early show, yeah, it's not because I'm unpopular. Anyway, that we just had a great laugh and then at the end of the festival, as an ex judge uh, ex judge, like you know, like ex men. Mm -hmm. But either way, yeah, she gave me, um, she gave me an award for her, her own little personal award for best uh, show in front of a small, uh, in front of a small crowd. And I thought, That's sweet. That was really so, she made it. She made it herself. She made a little stage and she put like one chair in in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> and said, yeah, and that was it. And then she gave me one. Uh, uh, so as a certified fringe judge, as a she just went judge. around giving awards willy nilly. Well, see this the thing is, that she had a good chance. Well, the with. thing is that this is, no, I, and she gave me an award last year as well. See, but I, <laughs> she gives out an award for something. But it's always me that gets it. Right. <laughs> so there you go. It's it's like, yeah. I think she's a big fan. And then yeah, I think she is. Yeah. And there's just like so silly little things. And there's been other silly. I've started thinking about other silly things that I'd won. Stupid little things. Stupid. And I thought let's do a show about that. And that's it. So it's just me just uh, talking a lot of nonsense and yeah, just great. showing a few uh, little silly trinkets. Nice. So that's two out of the three shows. It's two out of the three. Hell, if you you're unaware, by the way, Nick, Nick Coppin speaks nonsense very well. Mm. Yeah. You haven't seen oh. his shows before. You oh, do. Thanks. You do speak a good bit of nonsense. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's good. I'm, I'm honoured. Yeah. Well, it's true. It's a true story. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. thought I was going to kiss yeah. Linda on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> no tongue. We didn't use tongues. No, yeah. You know. Thank you. That's yeah. um, that well, means a lot. To respect. Me. It really does. Yeah. It's yeah. respect. <laughs> I know you're both thinking about me too. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, uh, and your third show, Shaggers, uh, is, is almost an institution now. Almost an institution. So, so that it was said in a, in a review last year in the Adelaide Now. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, it did. Don't actually say that. Damn it! Said, I thought I was being clever. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, it did. Well, it actually did say can a show be an institution in its sec- you know in just its second season? Of course it can. Well, there you go. Well, that's, yeah. that's kind of what they were saying. But, you know, I suppose people could think, no. But, you know, but <laughs> that's kind of what it says. So it's getting to be a bit of an institution here in Melbourne and, and, and Edinburgh. It's, it's fun. In Adelaide, where you are now. Yes, and that's yeah, right. in Adelaide as well. I meant here as, I mean, here yeah. as it's here now. Yeah. I mean, as well as Adelaide. You know, well, this was the first time, we, you know, that we put the paid show on at any festival. Well, obviously, it was a free festival in Edinburgh. Mm-hmm. Came here. So Adelaide was the first pl- the first place mm. anyone bought a ticket for Shaggers. You know, did you I should I be do? proud. Yeah. I think I did a spot at Shaggers in Melbourne last You did, you, year, and, you and Mickey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that was a crazy night. Yeah, I only just remembered it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it was a crazy night. <laughs> I think that was the first one of the festival last yeah, year. Yeah, that's right. No, yeah, and then the crowd shot. No, yeah, the Exmouth Hotel. Yeah, that yeah. was a, that was a bit of a drunken night, a drunk, mm. bit of a drunken affair. It was. Yeah. Well, it was good fun. That was good fun. But yeah, so yeah, that's a show that's produced by Kath, Alex, and myself. And uh, <laughs> good, yeah. good. But only I, only I compare it. You okay. know, unless unless you guys just decide you're going to pull me off. Well, well, the show. Well. <laughs> <laughs> How much time so, have you yeah. got? Let's do it. Probably take both of us. Yeah. <laughs> really? Now, I don't know who you've been talking to. As, as a comic from the UK, why, why do you keep coming back? Like, because it's... <laughs> like, John is going no, to like, because yeah, I, I went to Edinburgh this year. It's yeah. so expensive. Yeah, it is. And yeah. nothing was achieved. Like, what? what why? Were you but, rained on? Uh, no, I was inside. So oh, okay. I had yeah. a great time, but yeah. but it was just it was tough work and it's a very and hard I, job, man. Yeah, well, just to just yeah. to go to another place where no one knows you and what? Why? Why, why are you crazy? Well, see, the thing is, it's like initially we came out here just for you know just to see how it goes mm. and and it, it went all right. I mean, you know, there's there's you know I haven't become a, a Ross Noble or Stephen King. It's like a lot of the UK, but it's good to come here. You've got the sunshine and it's like almost like it's at, at the very least it's like a, a free or working holiday isn't it so mm. get to see great guys here in Adelaide Melbourne whatever been to a few other places around the place so. there's an enormous learning curve from doing a fringe festival in another country too isn't oh it? yeah like, definitely yeah you know, I've, I've only ever worked in the States once yeah. and it was last year for the Indianapolis fringe yeah. and I thought I'd done fringe festivals you know I've yeah. done Adelaide and I've done uh, I've been to Edinburgh plenty of times. I've done the New Zealand festival. Yep. Then I learn a whole new thing in a totally different yep. place. So like, wow, this is. There a- you go. I mean, last year I went to LA. I did the Hollywood Fringe Festival. That was yeah, right. the first one. It was like really bizarre. Just like people just didn't weren't interested in coming to see like live stand up from you. We thought, oh, UK yeah, right. comedians, because over here, like UK comedians are quite well received. In oh, America, yeah, they're, cu- yeah, they're not- resented. In America, America, they- America don't give a toss. Mm. Don't give a toss. It's like, yeah, 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 whatever, man. Yeah, but yeah over here yeah, we right. have a, a good laugh. I mean, if that was someone back home said, would you rather do, you know, go and do a, a festival in America or Australia? Definitely Australia, without a doubt. So, yeah, yeah. But yeah, right. it's different. It's yeah, you have different experiences. Different. I mean, even here, LA compared to, to Melbourne, it's just like. Really, really different. Yeah, well, that's the beauty of a fringe, isn't it? I mean, here yeah. you've got so many other things on, mm. so many mediums. Yeah. There's theatre and visual art and dance and comedy and mm. heaps and heaps. And there, of course, the film festival's on at the same time. And there's a book festival, there's a festival festival that celebrates festivals within a festival. It's, it's quite full on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, well, it is. Melbourne's just comedy. It's just it a is, comedy yeah, just comedy. But in the, here it's really chilled out. Like they said, like Edinburgh's got festival and the fringe and like you said loads of all right. other stuff but it's really it's really quite intense I mean, it's a great laugh mm. and it's, it's, it's like the biggest arts festival in the world but it's a comedy festival but here it's like Adelaide anyone you, you talk to is Adelaide festival or fringe festival uh, it's just like really chilled out everyone yeah, yeah. loves coming and doing the Adelaide it's a big fringe favorite. It's a big it is a big favourite yeah yeah it is yeah. you know what else is a big favourite the candy challenge not the candy you challenge you up Coppin so what, so what's uh, what, I'm, well, I know what I've got to do I've got to get them suck them up there and put them in there haven't I exactly so, yeah, but what's the record and the how record long do I get to do it? 35. Right, and how long? In a minute. So it's one every two seconds, which doesn't seem very hard. Is, there, is there even 35 in there? I will, will top you up. Yeah, top me up, you know, I'm going for this. It's, right. a, it's good, yeah. I like to see this kind of a. Uh, yeah. 35, that's kind of like. It's, want in it's all about see, getting the angle as well, isn't right. it? You see? It's angles, you've got to yeah. hit the flat spot. 35 yeah. in a minute. Okay. Yeah. I don't, okay, oh. you ready? Good luck. Alright, go on then. Yeah. Set. Go! And I will plug your shows. Nick Coppin. He's got three shows. The first one, uh, award-winning British comedian, is on... Uh, when is it on? Well, it's on Saturday and Sunday uh, to the end of the Fringe. Uh, so both weekends. 6.30 at the Austral. 
at 8.30 he's got ah best comedian best fringe comedy something from the UK that's on 8.30 uh, the 3rd, 5th and 6th of uh, March and then Shaggers is on at 10.45 also at the Austral Thursday to Sunday to the end of the fringe so you can literally see him for 6 hours straight Except for the fact that Shaggers goes for more than an hour, so... Man, you're an idiot. I don't know, I just don't know why you'd want to do that. Here's a little fact you might not know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hell, really? 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 Let's play. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know where, where Mickey lives now, there's a great, there's a great beach cricket. Yeah, there is. Nice, wide... Perfect. We should, we should play some beach cricket. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Right, that's not too bad. That's not bad. It's all right. You've done all right. Lindsay's job to count them up. Uh, a few hit the edge. See, it's the problem. You get the. It's the technique. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. You've got a. It's like those games you play on the toilet on your iPhone. Yeah. Like one mistake. Ah, oh, I just want to start again. Here we go. Okay. Twenty-six. Hey, oh, that's not bad. you're on the leaderboard. Yeah. Definitely on who, the board. Who, who won? Who's got and the you top? Can take uh, the guys from No Blinding Light. Have got yeah. the top. Then I think it's Michael Bowley. We'll, we'll have a look at the uh, the scorecard in a bit. Uh, uh-huh. Is there anything else you want to give a plug to or, or a shout out to or anything? I, I just want. I think let's get together and play some cricket. That's all I yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, do it. And whoever wants to play, they can come too. Yeah, send out like. the challenge. No, every, every time I see you, you're always in some kind of comic book thing. For years, yeah. it was a Spider-Man. You've still got the Spider-Man. I've still got the thing Spider-Man here. thing. I've got the Spider-Man hoodie. What, what, it's still with me. What's the dealio? I've, <laughs> the dealio is I've <laughs> always been a big comic book fanio. You are so, uh, a comic fanio. <laughs> yeah, fanio. Yeah, comic <laughs> fanio. That's no problem, doesn't it? It's one for shaggers. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, Nuts, yeah. I've just always been. A, I was a kid. I was always. A kid. <laughs> it's it like a breakfast cereal it? for the yeah. Gestapo. Yeah. Oh, Nazio. Thank you. Gestapo. Gestapo. That's it. I've just always been a big comic book fan, and it's just one of the things I haven't quite grown out of, really. No. no. It's colourful and fun. Why not? Yeah. 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 Why not? Yeah. Why not? One day we're going to do that challenge. We're going to beat thirty-five. Okay. I understand. Oh, so yeah. where are you? Where, here's the thing now. Nick Coppen, six. sixth. One, two, three. Sixth. Mm. That's not bad. That's not bad. Like we, we've had five people do it for like. 10 shows. So to be 6 out of 50. You know what I like? That's not bad. 6 like out of 50. You. You've knocked Clean Zach off. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Because he, yeah. he beat well, me by well, one and he was sort of the. Mm, mm, Clean Zach. Yeah. Now he's gone. Mm. If only my ticket sales were that good. <laughs> <laughs> you should give out some money. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's easy. it. You know. yeah. yeah, maybe I will. That's the guy. Excellent. All right. in. Thank you so much it's for been coming. It's a pleasure. In. Hug it out, man. Oh, Let's yeah. Hug it out. Bring it on. Let's hug it out, First boys. bit of love I got in this yeah. couch. <laughs> no time. No pleasure. No, no time. No, no, no time. Can I eat some of these? Yeah, yeah you, you can have them all. Oh, these are my you winnings. Yeah, that's yeah. my winnings. Yep, that's your right. pay. <laughs> usually, we, usually we wait. Usually we wait till we go to a break before the guest leaves, but that's fine. You yeah, can just go right. now. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Break time. You're watching Festival Fishbowl live from PJ O'Brien's.